Welcome to the Philippine Moto Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the best-selling Mini from Toyota, the all-new Toyota Wigo, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the Ford Explorer and Dodge Durango as they go head-to-head. -head. We'll also have the latest developments in the local auto industry and a special feature on the all-new Suzuki Vitara at Metro 10 Pasig City. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Marketing Director of BMW Philippines, Mr. Carl Magsusi. If you're considering giving yourself a reward after a year of hard work, why not give yourself a brand new car? So come and visit us at the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. And BMW will be there to showcase to you the latest models that we have such as the 5 Series and the all-new 2 Series Grand Tourer 7-seater MPV. Don't forget, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! Come to the Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. to give back, be a force of change. I dream of a place where children can realize their potential, to live and love life, be kings and queens, and fight for their dreams. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. First launched in 2014, the Toyota Wigo has become popular in the Philippines because of its easy-to-own, easy-to-drive, and easy-to-enjoy features. Three years later, new variants were introduced to the market. The 1.0G automatic transmission, the 1.0G uh, manual transmission, and the 1.0E manual. For this week's car review, we have the 1.0G automatic. Toyota Mini Hatchback is now powered with a VVTi engine for a more fuel-efficient drive. Here we have the 4-speed automatic transmission variant. This 3-liter inline 12-valve DOHC also got a boost in horsepower and torque. The new Wigo runs on a gasoline engine that now delivers 66 horsepower and 89 newton meters of torque. On top of that, this latest generation Wigo retains its stable and comfortable ride through its suspension, which uses McPherson strut and coil spring at the front, 
and semi-independent torsion axle beam coil spring at the rear. This optimized suspension geometry calibration provides the new Wigo with a smooth and relaxing drive. Meanwhile, the brakes use 13-inch ventilated disc at the front and drum at the rear. Outside, the revitalized design of the new Wigo showcases a sporty and fun silhouette that speaks volumes compared to its previous model thanks to its front grille and 14-inch alloy wheels. The latest model also now possesses sleek projector-type headlamps with line guide and LED rear combination lamps for an edgier look. Inside, the latest Wigo shows off its pre-designed interior with new seat patterns and door trims. Adding to the treat is a more refreshing appearance that has been granted on its multi-function and navigation-ready audio system. The infotainment system now offers quicker responses in a sharper display along with steering wheel mounted controls. Moreover, the new Wigo has advanced features such as the new steering switch which is not available in the previous model. The steering switch provides effortless access to one's music. The new Wigo also doesn't compromise safety. The new model is still equipped with standard SRS airbags for both the driver and passenger. Additionally, all options for the Wigo are now armed with anti-lock brake system, meanwhile with the anti-theft system which has an immobilizer and alarm and the wireless door lock, security is ensured with the new Wigo. As Toyota Wigo 2017 brought and showcased these new and more advanced features, it has proven that there is so much more to the mini hatchback. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. TV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Managing Director of Ford Philippines, Mr. Bert Lassard. I would like to invite you to check out our pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop to all car enthusiasts to see and test drive the latest vehicle on November 16 to November 19 at the SM Mall of Asia. Experience our Ford Everest. Ford Ranger and Ford EcoSport at this event with their best capacity and feature. Please, I would like to see you there. Come to the AutoFocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. TV 
Sunshine Girl, Sarah Hernandez, with a very timely message from the General Manager for Automobile of Suzuki, Philippines, Mr. Shuzo Hoshikura. It's gift-giving time of the year once again. If you are planning on giving your family or yourself gift of a lifetime, make sure to test drive it before you buy it. Come to the Autofocus Pre Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Suzuki Philippines will have Celerio, Swift, Jimny, Seat, Ertiga, and a surprise new model for you. Please watch out for this. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! Focus multi brand pre Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. The awarding ceremonies for the Autofocus People's Choice Awards 2017 was recently held at the Valle Verde Country Club's Grand Ballroom. The event was attended by top executives and officials of the local auto industry and select members of the motoring media. The People's Choice Awards, organized and undertaken by STV or Sunshine Television since 2005, is an annual public poll that aims to determine the country's most popular automobile brands and models. The People's Choice Awards scoring methodology yields Model of the Year awardees in 12 standard and 10 premium luxury classifications and the Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories from over 180 models in the official entry list. I'd like to uh, extend my congratulations again to uh, Butch and his staff at uh, Sunshine Television. You know, the People's Choice Awards were started in 2005 and uh, seems like only yesterday and, you know, almost unbelievable to think that we've just finished the 13th e edition of this awards program. Butch, uh, we are happy in in the uh, awards committee that you continue to look forward to seeking ways and measures by which uh, this program can be improved and as you saw from the exercise of 13 years this program started as pure SMS based exercise today you have an honest to goodness nationwide uh, poll that's anchored on uh, social media it's a different uh, uh, animal to, altogether from what it was uh, 13 years ago. I'm also happy that the committee has been able to and will be able to work with the media selection board uh, insofar as reviewing and seeing to it that the classifications of all the models uh, entered in both awards programs are in their proper places. And uh, that really gives uh, this program uh, a lot more credibility, makes it a lot of more helpful, and it becomes more relevant to the uh, emerging trends in model classifications uh, that the industry is headed towards. Uh, congratulations, uh, Butch, and uh, see you in the 14th one. For the third year, the Toyota Fortuner won the Automobile of the Year title in the standard category. The rare and unique three-pit feat, only the second such achievement in the 13-year run of the People's Choice Awards, lifted the Fortuner into the People's Choice Awards Hall of Fame for three-time Automobile of the Year titles. Uh, we're very, very happy. Toyota Motor Philippines is very happy for garnering so much awards for this year's uh, Media Choice Awards and People's Choice Awards. I believe not just because of sales, but also Toyota's quality, durability, and reliability. Also, our strong dealer network, which was able to make our Toyota products more accessible, more attractive to our customers. 
It's an enjoyable, fun activity. Uh, congratulations to STV, to Mr. Ray Butch Gamboa for hosting such an activity. It's a culminating night for the touring industry. Meanwhile, in the premium luxury category, the Lexus RX 350 won with an accounted score of 1,569.9 points. It also emerged as the 2017-2018 mid-size SUV crossover of the year. Well, we were overwhelmed with the different categories and awards and we'd like to thank, of course, Mr. Butch Gamboa. We are very happy and we are honored. Uh, we earned this since back-to-back, -back, no? since last year, so we're very proud and we're very happy and I think that speaks for itself, no? our Lexus products. So. We are uh, gaining more customers no, every year and for this year alone we will be making the record sales for Lexus. So we'd like to thank all watching on the confidence of, of our Lexus products. So once again, thank you very much to all, most especially to Butch Gamboa. Here is the complete lineup of winners in the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Meanwhile, also during the ceremony, winners of the Autofocus Media's Choice Awards 2017 were also awarded. The Media's Choice Awards aim to further recognize the automobile industry's continuing efforts to provide car owners and motorists with the best onboard features, styling, performance, and overall value. A select group of recognized motoring media professionals and practitioners comprise the Media's Choice Awards Voters Panel for a special poll. Here are the official winners.
The awards night was graced by top officials of the country's car manufacturers and distributors, the auto industry's top lead organizations, the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines Incorporated, and the Association of Vehicle Importers and Distributors, as well as motoring media professionals. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Hi there, everyone. I am STV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Senior Manager for Communication of Nissan Philippines, Mr. Dax Avenido. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a car for your family or for yourself. If you are, remember, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Nissan will have the following models available for you to test drive. The Nissan Juke, the Nissan Navara, the Nissan Urban, the Nissan Almera, and our latest addition, the new Nissan X-Trail featuring the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas to all of you. Focus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough the hmm? to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. The power of Strata. Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the President of Isuzu Philippines Corporation, Mr. Hajime Koso. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a car for your family or yourself. If you are, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's Auto Focus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Isuzu Philippine Corporation will have the following model available for you to test drive. Our new Blue Power Euro 4 direct injected VGS turbo diesel engines for new Isuzu D-MAX Blue Power 4x4 and 4x2 automatic variants. And New Isuzu Mu X Blue Power 4x2 Automatic. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! Come to the Autofocus Multi Brand Pre Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead. But in the meantime, here is our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. If 
you wanted to arrive in any event extra macho, the perfect car to bring with you is a muscle car. This week's head-to-head -head is pretty interesting as we pit two muscle cars that's every man's dream to own, the Ford Explorer and the Dodge Durango. We start off by looking closer at the engine of the two SUVs. Under the hood of the Explorer Sport is an EcoBoost Twin Turbo V6 that gives 365 horsepower and 475 Newton meters of torque. All this power is transferred to a 6-speed automatic with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. On the other hand, Dodge Durango is powered by Dodge standard engine, the 3.6L Penstar V6 that generates up to 295 horsepower and 528.7 newton meters of torque. It features dual variable valve timing that helps maximize power and efficiency. Moreover, the 8-speed automatic transmission helps V6-equipped rear-wheel drive models achieve an estimated 11.47 km per liter highway drive. When it comes to the exterior design, the new additions to the looks of the Explorer Sport give it a sportier and rugged look, fit for customers looking for adventure with performance and style. Its unique 20-inch machine aluminum wheels adding the Explorer's full identity and confident stance. Meanwhile, one can also point out that the Durango demands nothing but attention from the looks of its exterior, thanks to its chrome-detailed front grille, its headlamps that have automatic eye beam control, its projector fog lamps, and its wheels that leave a little bling on the road. Inside, the Explorer Sport is known for its charcoal black leather interior with contrasting inserts. Seven people can comfortably sit with its wide spaces while enjoying the entertainment and connectivity features. The Explorer Sport has the MyFord Touch, an industry exclusive, which includes a two cluster mounted configurable displays and an 8 inch color LCD touchscreen. Paired and powered by Ford Sync, it replaces many of the traditional buttons and gives the driver control over the vehicle's entertainment and climate through a simple button click, voice command, or touchscreen tap. My Ford Touch also adds connectivity options to help drivers engage and focus on the road. Climb inside the Durango and likewise see the wide spaces combined with the right seat configurations. Moreover, the driver gets a treat with the class-exclusive 7-inch customizable driver information digital cluster display which supplies audio selection information, fuel economy data, vehicle status, warning indicators, and available navigation. And then add the Uconnect 8.4 nav that includes GPS navigation with 3D graphics lets you stream audio wirelessly with a Bluetooth-compatible device, then you're set for the road. For safety and security features, the Explorer Sport continues its commitment to provide safety with its adapted cruise control, terrain management system, and collision warning with brake support, speed controls, blind spot information system, and inflatable rear seat belts. This commitment is the same for the Durango, as it is equipped with adaptive cruise control with stop, forward collision warning with active braking, backup assistance, and Uconnect roadside and emergency assistance. The Explorer and the Durango does not only give you an extra macho point, but also a perfect vehicle if you need an extra room for your family and friends, especially on a long road trip. Plus, both are powerful and comfortable to whatever adventure you wanted to take in. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment 
featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2018 Ferrari 812 Superfast. Watch this. With its output boosted to 800 CV, 60 more than the F12 Berlinetta, the A12 Superfast is the most powerful and fastest road-going Ferrari ever built, with the exception, of course, of the rear engine special limited series 12 cylinders. The A12 Superfast thus ushers in a new era in Ferrari 12-cylinder history and in doing so builds on the invaluable legacies of the F12 Berlinetta and F12 TDF. To make full use of that huge power and to guarantee perfect weight distribution, the car exploits a highly evolved transaxle architecture that couples a front-mounted engine with a rear-mounted transmission. It is also the first Ferrari equipped with EPS, electric power steering. At the development stage, Ferrari's engineers set themselves the goal of exceeding the specific power output of the F12 Berlinetta's V12. To do so, they decided to focus their efforts principally on optimizing the intake system and combustion efficiency to fully exploit the increase in the engine's displacement from 6.2 to 6.5 liters. The development process resulted in a maximum power output of 800 CV at 8,500 RPM, a new benchmark for the Ferrari range, in addition to a specific power output of 123 CV per liter, a completely unprecedented figure for an engine front-mounted in a production car. The A12 Superfast's aero design is part of Ferrari's ongoing commitment to continually improving performance with each new model, both in terms of speed and augmented vehicle dynamics for a more exhilarating driving experience. The development guidelines aim to achieve exceptionally high aerodynamic efficiency figures through boosting of the downforce that influences a car's stability without increasing drag as the latter would negatively impact fuel consumption and maximum speed. Mobile Aero Solutions, whether mechanically activated, active mobile aerodynamics, or activated by the pressure of the air itself, passive mobile aerodynamics guarantee very low drag values. To the side of the air intakes for engine and brake cooling is a turning vane on the front bumper which is designed to channel air flows striking the front of car to ensure they hug its flanks. This, in turn, appreciably reduces overall drag. A spoiler on tail of the car generates rear downforce. Three pairs of curved dams were adopted on the underbody and are responsible for 30% of the increase in downforce, compared to the F12 Berlinetta as already achieved on the special series F12 TDF. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I shall be right back. Hi there, I am SDV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the President and General Manager of Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated, Mr. Noriyuki Takakura. Planning to supply the entire family this Christmas season. Supply them with a brand new car. Come to the Old Focus Free Christmas Multiple Land Test Flight Festival at the Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Honda Cars Philippines will be having the new city, new mobilio, new jazz, VRV, Civic, and the all-new CRV 7-seater diesel turbo, available for you to test drive and experience during this event. Remember, 
Test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas. Come to the Autofocus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16th to 19th. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. SDV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President of Filipinas Taj Auto Group Inc., Mr. Art Balmadrid. Thinking of buying a car this Christmas? Make sure to test drive it before you buy it. The pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop for all brand new car models available in the country is happening on November 16 to 19 at the Mall of Asia where Filipino Studs, the exclusive distributor of Tata Motors vehicles, shall have the latest car models and commercial vehicles that will be made available for test drive. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas everyone! Focus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the show for the automobile enthusiast, and back to more auto industry developments. Toyota Moro Philippines recently introduced a new variant to the country's most popular MPV, the Innova Touring Sport. According to Toyota, in an effort to amplify Innova's strong and robust image, the Touring Sport aims to intensify its persona as a vehicle that is perfect for any adventure. Toyota presented the new Innova Touring Sport with an exterior design that highlights a sporty figure with its 16-inch matte black alloy wheel, smoked headlamp, chrome front grille, and fender molding with FR and RR diffusers near its bumper. Along with the refreshing sporty features of this new variant, the Innova Touring Sport also comes standard with the following features. Toyota's anti-theft system, reverse sensors, and door ajar warning, which emphasizes the functionality of the Touring Sport. And finally, Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated, Honda Philippines, and Honda Parts through its foundation, Honda Foundation, recently held their eighth tree planting project at Mount Banahaw in Santa Lucia, Quezon. 
We started this project since 2010, so it's already been uh, seven years. So it will be until 2020. It's a 10 years project. This is an annual project of Honda Foundation entitled Road to 2020. There are about 5,000 seedlings being planted and participated by different volunteers from Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated, Honda Philippines, and Honda Parts. This CSR project was also in partnership with the Haribon Foundation. Sa lahat ng mga uh, associates na participate ngayon, congratulations! So, napakaganda nitong ating activity. Sana sumama sila ulit at maraming salamat sa Haribon Foundation for being our partners sa ating uh, tree planting activity. All these years, all eight years ng ating tree planting with Haribon Foundation. We have a lot more about the automobile coming up. In the meantime, here's our what and where to have them for our car enthusiast on Automart. Here now is Automart with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Out and out, car aficionados do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. Speed Lab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom built headers, racing filters, unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speed Lab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banaue, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Autofocus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automart, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. Hi there, I am STV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President for Marketing Services of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation, Mr. Froy Dichankin. Christmas is fast approaching and many of you are probably thinking of buying a new car for your family or for yourself. If you are, it's best to test drive it before you buy it. This year's Autofocus pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive at the Mall of Asia is on November 16 to 19. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines will have the following models available for you to test drive. We have the Montero Sport, Strada Pickup, the Mirage and Mirage G4. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. The best of the holidays to all of you. Come to the Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. When you sweat to be sweet and you clean the seat. It's love. it's love when you try to look cool, but you look like a fool. It's love. Love. it's love. It's love. It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all new Innova. Love the journey.
Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With the new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. SDV Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the marketing manager of Subaru Philippines, Mr. John Ezekiel Asuncion. Are you looking for something special to give this holiday season? Why not buy a brand new car? Come to the Autofocus Pre Christmas Multi Brand Test Drive Festival at the Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Subaru will be offering multiple test drive units for your enjoyment at this festival. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is this edition's special feature. Suzuki Philippines celebrates another milestone that will surely excite its loyal customers as well. Just recently, the brand introduced the newest addition to their innovative lineup of vehicles. Suzuki Philippines recently launched the new Vitara GLX in an event held at the Metro 10 Convention Center in Pasig City. According to Suzuki, the new generation Vitara is designed to match the growing automotive market in the country. Additionally, the Vitara has upgraded the heritage design of the Suzuki SUV through incorporating modern elements. Uh, recently, uh, we announced the uh, first half of the uh, uh, fiscal year financial statement. The result was positive, mainly because of the uh, sales increase in India market and European market and of course uh, Philippine market. So market is showing the uh, good trend. So we will make effort and try to achieve the uh, annual plan. Suzuki presented the new Vitara GLX with an exterior design that exudes a strong yet sophisticated presence achieved through the modernized Suzuki SUV signature clamshell bonnet. The side press lines and smooth roof line suggest a youthful, rugged look and strong aerodynamic performance. A compact SUV is a fast-growing segment, so I'm sure that we have a big potential here. Actually, I had experience to launch this product in South America, New Zealand, Australia, in everywhere. It's like a booming, so I'm sure that we're going to see the same thing in Philippines. Inside the new GLX, the design combines muscular contours and a sporty feel. The seats are high-quality fabric which gives an even classier feel. According to Suzuki, the new GLX allows drivers to express individuality with its various colors and designs. Uh, today, we are happy to inform. Uh, we are happy to introduce our new model Vitala. We actually are able to start the distribute uh, this vehicle now and uh, hopefully uh, we are able to start selling the Vitara in the Philippines maybe end of November. So actually we Japanese say seeing the believing uh, let's come to our authorized dealership in Nationwide and uh, check uh, our new Vitara as well. Thank you so much. Manamin, manamin, salamu. We congratulate Suzuki Philippines for this newest addition to its lineup of vehicles. With the continuous innovation and collaborative effort of the people behind the brand, 
Surely Suzuki's loyal customers are on the lookout for more. We come now to the final page of our electronic magazine as we again put on the spotlight concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. This time we train the spotlight on the Aston Martin Vantage AMR. Let's take a look. From an aerodynamic point of view, the Vantage AMR has no shortage of aero components that are similar to the race spec cars from which it drew inspiration. The front splitter and the wide side skirts are impossible to miss, as are the larger wheel arches that help make room for the 19-inch race wheels. Even at the back, the deck lid spoiler and that angry-looking diffuser scream for attention. There's even the option to get the AMR Aero Kit, which is part of the wide range of AMR branded accessories that will serve prominent roles in the growth of the sub-brand. In the case of the Vantage AMR, the kit is made up of carbon fiber splitters, dive panels, side sills, and a fixed rear spoiler. Suffice to say, no stones were left unturned in making the Vantage AMR as lightweight as possible. The Vantage AMR comes with a different set of wheel designs and finishes depending on whether it's the V8 or V12 variant. The V8 Vantage gets 5-spoke alloy wheels while the more imposing gets V12 Vantage gets 10-spoke alloy wheels. Aston Martin Vantage AMR is being offered in both V8 and V12 configurations of the Vantage. The V8 Vantage will still get the same 4.7-liter V8 engine that pumps out 435 horsepower and 346 pound-feet of torque, while the bigger V12 Vantage will still utilize the same 5.5-liter V12 engine that can be found under the hood of the DB11. This particular powertrain does come with an extra bit of juice amounting to 595 horsepower, 30 ponies more than the car's standard output of 565 horses. Depending on the version, prospective owners should also expect to receive either a 6-speed manual for the V8 Vantage, a 7-speed manual for the V12, or an automated sequential manual gearbox. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. By the way, you can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.